Hello, Retroburn here, aka Odamas, creator of Himbacord.blogspot.com, and this is the second part of our Let's Play Transcendence version 1.1. So I know I've promised you that I'd add in uh, information from the first, because I forgot the surname of the creator of this game in the first part, so his name's George Moro Misato. So uh, I, re I can't place his surname. Uh, but the last two syllables sound Japanese, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't researched yet. Uh, he has been awesome enough to uh, encourage me, saying that awesome, and he hopes to see my Let's Play Transcendence soon. And so here it is, George. I hope I'll do your game justice. So it's saying something about game that, you know, when you're at the office and all you can think of is. Uh, going back home to try out new stuff so this is one of those games um, but before I delve into that I would like to um, ask some questions because uh, four things confuse me so I've got four questions here that I hope fans or even the creator of the game can answer so number one is, is it worth replacing sheets of armor that have higher HP for lower HP ones that have significantly higher resistances? So in the first part, I've um, replaced my heavy titanium armor for, I think, the Urak light armor ones. They have only 20 HP, but they have a crazy amount of resistance as to kinetic and laser weaponry so I hope I've done the right thing anyway if anyone can answer that I'd be it would be very much appreciated so number two is if you intend to take all side quests do new ones pop up is the entire system randomized so I'm mighty curious about this because um, you know if it's a random system and new side quests pop up, it would be great. It would uh, max out this game's replayability. Number three is uh, if you do mine out a system, you know, the maybe the first one or the second, the second um, system, side quests, asteroids, and all, and jump up in terms of durability and firepower, would the game compensate? So I'm asking this because what if, you know, I do a max min thing and do all the side quests in a certain sector and then buy all the the grade A weapons there with would the enemies auto level up to to compensate or would I become so overpowered that I won't enjoy the game anymore so number four is uh, conversely if you do make a mistake and do the reverse rush things would the game adjust or would it become un unplayable? So again guys, um, if you have any idea about these queries, feel free to answer in the comment section below. To the very, our replies would be very much appreciated. Excuse me, drinking coffee here. Anyway, so let's continue. Loading game. Oh, by the way, um, in the first part I said that I don't know what this is about, the records part. But I've clicked on it and voila! It shows your current stats that, that have been uploaded into the cloud computing system that this game uses. So I think this is from my last uh, account. I was destroyed by Centauri Heavy Raider in the Erudani system. So closing this and loading game. Okay. Hmm. Rotate thrust. Use item. Uh, what was that command where we can view what we have in our cargo hold? Clear target, invoke, squadron, communications, enable, disable devices. Pauses the game, show map of entire system. 
dock with nearest station, enter Stargate. Ah, there, S, ship status. Okay, ship configuration, we've got uh, two cannons equipped. We have a heavy recoilless cannon, level 2, and a level 3 omnidirectional laser cannon. So the laser cannon is faster, but the, the heavy recoilless cannon packs more punch. And I think we can scroll down there. So this is what I'm talking about. I've equipped uh, 20 hit point Urag armor we, that has 180 laser and kinetic resistances. So I don't know if they're better than the uh, this one. I mean the, the default titanium armor which has 45 hit points view cargo hold damage how do I fix this maybe I could um, give this to the poor habitats Centauri rise Okay, so maybe we could sell the rice to. Wait, 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 wait. Let's uh, let's count how much they would buy it for here. This uh, in this part, I'd like to do some trading and increase my increase my credits, so we could buy we could buy new equipment. So selling Centauri Rise 90 credits. They're offering 90 credits for this undocking. Man, the E1500 is such a bitch to do tight maneuvering and uh, not here upgrade refuel remove upgrade reactor nope whoa 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 Okay, it must be the coffee. <laughs> Forgive my lousy piloting skills. Okay, so we can't sell stuff here either. One hundred ten credits. Okay. Nice residential leave maintenance leave. So they're offering higher price. What about here? So the same. Okay, we're already in the outskirts. Wait, um, yeah. They sell this item. Hmm. 
you know, I don't think this game pauses when you're in the buying screen, so I should remember that. Let's see if we can help. Booyah! Habitats, habitats, more habitats. So there are only, I think, four space stations here that buy and sell stuff. So let's buy one of each. And see who will buy these. Docking. Commodities. Sell. Okay, 72 credits. 6 credits. Forty five for two seventy. One forty four and two seventy. Okay, so at higher prices for this stuff but let's not sell it just yet so they're not interested okay now we have 503 credits so in this run through I'm going to really um, do some crazy trading so I could um, buy you know better armor and gear before because the first time I played uh, Transcendence I got my ass kicked by one ship and I don't want that to happen again because this is a playthrough and you know it would just suck if I would uh, if I would have to begin at the very beginning again, go back to square one, so to, so to speak. So buying this, okay, done. So. Okay, they're not interested with my water and my f five hundred four credits. There's not much difference because if I remember the last time, uh, my credits was five hundred three before I bought those commodities I'm carrying now man there are just too few of these space station stuff zoom out okay man okay
you know choice but to sell the things here the blasted things that is <laughs> occupying my cargo space so liquid oxygen for 504 credits okay selling all of these so I now have what a 24 credit profit leaving Bye. How do I change how many items you wish to purchase? One. Keep buying. Let's go for th these. I think this is safer to purchase because everybody needs them, right? Right? Undocking. One twenty, one twenty, one twenty, four twenty. they're really not interested in buying anything but armor sell okay Okay, sell, sell, sell. Okay, done, sell. Oh, leave. Okay, let's buy going back there. Oh man, all this talking is <laughs> making my already uh, my short term memory go haywire. So, was it that wa who was buying these at a much higher price? Four for one. Four for one. Okay. Done. I can do this all day. I'm wondering if this game has a um, dynamic economy system where if you would if you would you know deliver 
supplies for hours and end the prices would start to dip look at my credits go uh, uh. man three three six that's a loss god damn it Five hundred four. That's a loss too. Okay, so there is um, economy thing going on here. So if I'm going to sell these now, I I will be incurring massive um, losses to my credit pool. So I'm not going to do it. Hey, hey, hey. What about the fuel shop? The fuel facility, I mean. Ah, oh, damn it. It's still staying at 504, so I think we'll just um, do some side quests and pray that whatever they give us won't be the death of us. So it's off to the habitats we go, because at present they're the m more reliable uh, sources of side quests so far. Wait, I pressed S, sorry about that. Okay, docking meeting hall. I don't know what you're doing in this backwater system. You want to get to the core? Go! What's stopping you? Kids today, they dream big, but they'd rather watch a 3D Vs. <laughs> Is that the barb against uh, 3D games? Arco Vaughn, I think this is the thug who killed me the last time. Okay, and Doc, they don't have anything for us at the moment. So I'm stuck carrying these. Um. What was in my cargo hold again? Medical supplies. Whoa. Let's go there. Find trouble. expecting to loot Rex but they didn't leave any so tithe cancel okay and dock so where are we sisters of Dominia let's go find s let's go find some side quests okay fuel low Fuel engines. Okay, mm -hmm. that should do. All right. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Mind my fuel.
Okay. Let's go. Oh man. Tough, tough. Uh, what's this yellow green getting irradiated by the sun? What's with the yellow bleeping effect? Okay, docking. Oh yes, 125, HP 40. But they don't have the technology to repair XMH armor, so... Uh, I think we're just going to sell this loot. Okay, done. Undocking. Going back to Habitat Alpha 51. Autopilot engaged. I should go back and sell these medical supplies, see if um, people will need this now. Commodities, sell items for 504 credits. Damn it. Cause what's ba what's bothering me is that when I before I I purchased these medical supplies, I, I was at 600 plus credits if memory serves. And now if I sell them, I'm just going to get 336, man, I shouldn't have bought all of those, all of those, really very bad decision. So, another question is if I run out of fuel and I don't have money to buy fuel rods, is that what game over? Okay, nothing there for me. Okay, I'll just donate this one. Turn. I was expecting something in return, but anyway. Okay, nothing there.
nothing there either. So I, I think I'll just sell this. Three hundred sixty credits. It has nice stats, but uh, I'm leery about this. Most stations do not have the technology to repair to repair XMH armor bit. So I'm going to sell this one. to the highest bidder of course and now the prices are fixed damn it okay going back there to sell the armor sheet Sell this item. Okay, let's sell all of these too. I hope I did the right thing. Could I buy superior weapons and armor now? Okay, so we've got 866 credits, level 3, HP 60, Ooh, these are expensive stuff. So what's better, uh, stronger shield but a weaker region, or a weaker shield but faster region? I think I'd go with this one. Cancel um, S viewing cargo ship configuration. We've got a 35, 1 megawatt. Okay, so that definitely is better. But uh, let's play it safe and see what the others have to offer. Like, for example, the huge space station there. I mean, not the largest one, but this one with the solar panels and stuff. I think they're selling weapons and armor and stuff here. So docking. Oh, okay. Re refuel upgrade reactor. Oh, they don't have weapons. Okay, so this is the station that sells weapons. I think I'll go with the shields first. You could always run away. Four megawatt, two two one six fifty five fifty. So. Okay, so let's buy this cyclotron S ten deflector. Six fifty credits. Uh, they charge a higher price if memory serves. I think the other installation only charges six hundred. 
So buying items. 60 buy this. Yeah, I was right. So buy and install. Okay, done. Let's sell the yes for 450 credits. Four fifty credits, two fifty credits. What about you? People here. What's your price point? Oh, okay, so you're not interested with a shield gen, so let's go back to the first station. Docking selling item. Okay, sell done. We've got 716. We should buy some fuel rods as insurance. So, six. Uh, the last time the game demanded 22 fuel rods. So I've already got, uh, got what six. So that's should buy some sixteen. Sixteen. There you go. Okay. What about weapons? Talking here. I want an omnidirectional turret. Turbo laser cannon, twin laser, fast fire laser cannon. Heavier version. So no re, uh, so no. Uh, Omnidirectional laser cannon, except for the one up the list, but that one's too expensive. We can't afford it now. Laser amplifier, blast seal ore. Seventy-one credits. Let's see if anyone's interested in buying this. Logic would dictate that uh, the armor manufacturer would be interested in this one. Um, sell. Oh. Short term memory fail. Ah, it's loss, 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 all loss. We'd be shortchanging ourselves if we s sold that ore here. Oh, man. Right. Right. Armor patch. Okay, so one more side quest and then I'm going to cut this second part. So this has been a um, trading, uh, largely trading and improving our equipment session. With only minimal dog fights. But in a, ga in a game like this, it's very essential that we do some trading and stuff. Man. 
So what am I going to do now? Go to the Stargate. People aren't offering anything. Okay, meeting hall. Okay. Nothing here either. Okay, what about we go to that? Um, Base there and wreck things. Okay. This is the station we just decimated. So, nothing to do much but go to the Stargate. so we've already destroyed this one what about this one I think we already did too right right ah damn it so no other way to go about it but to go to the stargate and pray that whatever is waiting on the other side we can easily dispatch okay follow the train of ships dude slow down travel advisory that either uh, dock okay thanks okay go to the nearest friendly station dock there see what we can find restaurant okay loading dock sell items okay bingo haha -ha. okay I think we can do a trading run go to the stargate purchase medical supplies go back here sell them Player whose name is Retro Burn, you suck at using retro rockets, dude. Right next to a star, irradiated with gamma rays and stuff. to get into the into the action but whoa was it a missile okay docking okay buying stuff medical supplies 
847 credits. Done. Let's go before their medical supplies demand flags. Okay, last run, and we're going to cut this short. Come on, dude. Okay. Loading dock. Uh, how much did we buy that one for? Anyway. Okay, sell. Done. Leave. Okay, so there really is a dynamic economic system here. So, you know, buying the same stuff over and over and over again and selling them to the same supplier would net you um, lesser profit each run and we don't have any friendly facility here so where's the next um, where's the next stargate can't find it ah hell so that's a question we're going to answer in the next part of our let's play transcendence let's play so this has been Ildamus aka Retroburn <laughs> I mean oh yeah creator from the court of blogspot.com I got that one in reverse I was supposed to be to say this is Retroburn aka Ildamus <laughs> anyway guys stay cool stay frosty see you around